Hi everyone. Today we are here to discuss about how to get the installed apps manifest. So I will also tell the business scenario why we need that. This is majorly for uh, developers. So for example, uh, we side load the app or we install the app from uh, Teams admin center. So you can see the number of apps uh, which is loaded from the admin center. So for example, task module 3, adaption bot, whatever. Uh, there are, will be so many apps which you can install. But uh, if some app is updated in uh, like some manifest is updated and it is uploaded to Teams admin center uh, and it might be taking some time to get reflected for users. For example, uh, you have some bot called notification only bot. You, you set like a uh, is notification only property as uh, true in the manifest and it is installed for all users and uh, working fine. After some time, you change the bot from notification only bot to conversational bot. You change that manifest property as uh, uh, false and update it into the admin center. But uh, the changes are not reflecting for the users. Then how to check? Uh, what manifest it is referring for the users how to get the uh, or you can also like for example once you uploaded the manifest to teams admin center how to get that manifest content so i will tell you the steps how to get that so i'm opening uh, teams.microsoft.com in the browser so that i can see all the network logs so i just uh, given like uh, open the network logs here i'm just signing in now So these are all uh, uh, network calls, right? Uh, so for example, to load all the team's content, all the team's client content, uh, it will get the content, whether it is from applications related or it is related to chart content, it able to get it using the uh, network calls so that all the network calls you can see it here. So to get apps related content, right? So for example, aggregated, and there is a uh, network call called aggregated entitlements. Just expand this one. Yeah, see uh, there is a aggregated entitlements. So if you click on that under the response, you will be you will see that all the content here. So control A, control C. I'm just copying uh, the content from the aggregated entit uh, entitlements from here. I see two calls. I'm not sure why here, uh, but let me copy the content from the latest call. And paste it to some JSON format. So for example, I do have some apps called uh, task module 3. There is a, some apps in task module 3 installed for me. So how can I get this app related manifest content, right? So that will be there in this response. So for example, let me just search for task module 3. Here are task module. Yeah, this is the app. See it here. Uh, that name is task module 3. I can see the app ID. I can see the tenant ID. What are the task uh, description I given in the manifest long description and uh, what is the content bot content or uh, what property I set it here and what are the scopes I given right? Whatever the manifest I uploaded into team center, I will be able to get those um, manifest details here. So you will be able to identify if something you did wrong in the manifest, right? Uh, you will get chance to verify once even, even though you cannot download it from Teams Admin Center. This is a way uh, you to verify or get the manifest content. So based on this one, if there is any manifest related, for example, valid domains are missing, uh, then you can add that uh, respective domain into your manifest and upgrade in that Teams Admin Center so that you'll be able to fix the issues. In the same way, if you have any uh, issues with any other properties, you can update and uh, up upgrade the uh, app in the Teams Admin Center. So this is the way to get your Teams app manifest from your Teams client itself. So what need to be done? So for example, if you logged in already, just log out of the Teams. And uh, once you are logging in, right, in the network logs, check for aggregated entitlements. 
in the aggregated entitlements in the response, you will see this uh, uh, related app entitlements related properties and all the details, right? You will be able to see it from this network call. Hope this helps to uh, resolve teams app related issues. Either it could be tab or it could be bot messaging extension. Any uh, so especially it helps for developers to identify the issue based on retrieving the existing manifest. Thank you.